even before discussing the consideration of becoming a sleep specialist, why did I become a doctor and specifically a neurologist? And and that reason was based in in a, a family experience. Uh, my mom was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and uh, she was diagnosed about six months after she gave birth to my younger brother. At the time, she had a very dense sensory weak, sensory deficit and weakness on her one side that had confined her to a wheelchair. Now, mind you, I was five years old. I don't recall this whatsoever. It was also at a period where we didn't really know much about multiple sclerosis, and she was told, uh, we're going to give you steroids. If you get better, great. If not, you probably won't get any more bad flares because you're not going to have any more kids. And so my mom, who had four kids and was a stay-at-home mother, said, okay, well, mind over matter. Um, and so by the grace of God, she she did well. Um, uh, Despite that, my mother never wanted to go back to another neurologist because she said, what's the reason? They can't do anything for me. 